In the following tutorial, we're going to set up our scenes for our pages and states in um, Catalyst. But there is one thing that I want to point out before you go too far. You want to go ahead and take a look at some of your different graphics just to see if they've come in right. Um, if I look at my art controls, they look right now, but when I first brought them in, they looked really large, and I was wondering why. So I went back to, and looked in Flash, um, and there's a problem that you should be aware of, and that is, if you notice these two objects, they look pretty similar. But the difference is, the first one is transformed at 100%, and this one is actually a really large graphic that's been scaled down. So what happens is, um, when I bring it into to Catalyst, it actually will show it at 100% size. So it actually came in about that size instead of the small size. So what you need to do is make sure that your transforms are always 100%, no transforms at all, and then the, the shapes themselves have to be the size that you want them used. So just be aware of that as you're working. Anyway, um, we're going to create our basic states that we need. So I'm going to duplicate this so I have four states, and the four states are going to be our home page, biography page, paintings, and mandalas. So let's go ahead and give those names. Home, bio, painting, I'll even just call it paint, and mandalas. Well, maybe I should change that just to be consistent. All right, now what we're going to do is turn off the things that we don't want. So in the bio, I'm going to turn on my background and my um, bio and turn off the home page. So that's the elements that should be on there. In the paintings, we need paintings turned on, home page off, and art controls turned on. Then in mandalas, we're going to turn off our home as well, turn on mandalas and art controls. Um, but we do also need to turn on the back, just remembered that. I noticed here for some reason that layer was turned off um, both places, so it needs to be turned on in the layer itself, it needs to be expanded to be opened. Alright, now I'm actually going to turn on that button on the back for this section as well, and you'll see why here in a little bit. So anyway, here's our four states, Home, Bio, paintings, and mandalas, and it looks like everything is pretty much there. Um, you might notice that some of the elements are not exactly where we want them, so we're going to be worried about that here in a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the main page, and um, I need to edit the stuff that's here. So I need to unlock the stuff that's on the home page, and I need to unlock the back button as well. And I'm going to move the back bu button off to the side, and then with these, I'm actually going to um, create um, buttons. So let's select the first one, chain, uh, choose to make that into a component, and we're going to make it into um, the button component. Now I can go inside of it and take a look at what we've got here. We've got um, our different states, and what I'm going to do to change from my overstate is actually just rotate this gradient 180 degrees while holding the shift key down. So now you can see what that looks like. And sometimes the refresh is a little bit slow. So just be aware of that. Now I can go back to my main layer and take a look at it. Now I can do um, the next button the exact same way. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to delete all of this for right now. And the reason that I'm deleting that, and, and just be aware, when I just press delete, it actually doesn't delete it. It actually just hides it. So I might even do this and choose, see, remove from state is what it seems to do. Um, instead, I'm going to come up here and choose delete. So it's completely gone now. And you might go, oh my gosh, now that's gone. Not so good. But we're actually going to use this button three times. And the reason we're going to do this is because there's a great technique in here that I just want you to be aware of. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to edit this particular part. And you'll see that if I look at my HUD, it says choose part. And I'm going to call this the label. The problem is that it changed my text. So we need to change our text back to what we want. White, it's going to be pretty large. 
the font I know is Trajan Pro. So you, you'll probably have to go down the list until you find Trajan Pro. Maybe it's just going to show it at the top because I've already found it before. Now I'm also going to center my text so I can make it bold if I want and I'm going to align it to the center. Whoops, not to the right, but center and just make it regular. Now you'll notice if I go to my over and down states it's not the same. So what I want to do is right click on it or you can go over to the HUD and say make the same in all other states. Now you'll see in the over, down, and disabled state it's exactly the same. Now the benefit of this is that I can use this button multiple times. So I'm going to control C and V and paste it. Control C and V and paste it again and create my three buttons. Now we do have to worry about alignment but now all I have to do is change the label that we have here. So we've got paintings and then mandalas. And it looks exactly the same. And notice that even though I have label set to all uppercase, it changed the text to all uppercase because that's the way it was, um, or that's the way it is in Trajan Pro. So let's just make sure that we have that set though. There we go. I do want to make sure that that's correct because it does do a small case, I think, in Trajan. There we go. Everything is consistent now. Now let's go to the bio and what we're going to do is turn this thing into a, um, let's see, wait, did I make that a component? Ah, oh, I did not make the back button into a component yet, so let's make that into a button as well. Ha! Huh. So now I'll go to the overstate and what I'm going to do here is actually just change the opacity a little bit. So I'll just change the opacity down to 70%. So kind of cheesy, but it works. It gives us some sort of change and that's enough for right now. Now I'm going to create um, the component that I need in this particular page, so the bio page. So I'm going to go into bios, make sure that I can see everything and everything's unlocked. And let me make the scroll bar first. So these are the two elements for the scroll bar. Select both, go to vertical scroll bar, then edit parts. And the first part is going to be the thumb and the second part is going to be the track. Now we can go back, select all the text and the scroll bar and the picture and choose to make this a scroll panel. Now we need to edit the parts so we're going to come inside here and take the two parts and make this the scrolling content. Now we have to double click inside of it and remove the add more content here and we're adding the content just by dragging this down. So I'm going to drag it down and eventually I get down to what seems to be the end of the page and it doesn't like that. So what I found that I needed to do was change my font size just a little bit. So I'll change it to only 14 points. There we go. And If I scroll back up that list everything seems to fit much better now. Now you can double click outside of it. You can see where that scroll panel ends. Ends at the same height as the panel, as the scroller. And now I can get back out and that is a scroll bar component, the entire thing. Now in paintings, it gets a little bit more difficult. First off, we want to take our um, controls. So let's unlock our controls. And we want to turn that into a button and we want to turn that into a button. Now we're going to select um, all three items, the title of the work, the, the buttons, and the paintings. So we need to get all those paintings unlocked and we're going to select all of those as well. And we're going to convert these to a custom generic component. And we'll come back to 
uh, working with that custom component afterwards. Now we're going to come into the Mandalas page and let's go ahead and hide paintings. Now what it's done with the paintings is it's moved the title, it's um, moved it into art controls because we had those art controls there before. So I'm going to actually just move this into paintings. And the reason why is because that's where I'm going to have my paintings on with the title of paintings. Now I can go ahead and lock that. Let me go to paintings real quick, make sure that that is organized the way we want. We've got our title of work component, and so I might go ahead and call that paintings list. We'll just call it paintings list. Now in mandalas we have to do the same thing. So things are a little bit different here because we need to unlock our, our layers and the problem now is that we're missing the other elements that we needed. We needed the text so I'm going to take the text from here go all the way inside and copy it. Go all the way back out go to mandalas and paste this text. So now that text appears in the mandalas section and now I also need to bring in my um, my arrows. So I'll do the same thing as well. And of course I could have done it all at once if I really thought about it. So select the arrows, copy, go back to project the beginning, go to your mandalas and paste in here. Now we can move those two down to where they need to go. And now I'm ready to select all of this again and make it um, a uh, custom component. So we'll right click or you can go over here choose component generic custom component. Now let's make move that from wherever it is it seems to be up there some reason it gets moved around sometimes we'll move it to mandalas because these are mandalas and let's give it a different name. So this is mandalas All right, I think that's enough for this tutorial. So hopefully you got what to do here. No, it seems a little complicated, but um, if you have any questions, let me know and let's go on.